Hey y'all, welcome back to my vlog. For those who don't know, my name is Cedric Campbell and today it is Rose's birthday celebration. Tell my girl, happy birthday. Happy birthday. So we are at Babo, getting some late brunch because we were late. And so I didn't do this at home, so let's get into the outfit of the day. I wore this Aditi fashion show, but nobody saw it, so I'm wearing it again. I have on this jogging suit I got from AliExpress, the Webay tank, everyday silver jewelry. And then I have one of these ASIC shoes. Yeah, using the garage. Um, okay. I'll wipe them off later. But yeah, that's what we're on today. Everybody tell Rose happy birthday right now. Happy Put it birthday! In the we got Shayna. We got Mackenzie. We got Jono. <laughs> and we got Cedric. Hello. So, I'm about to look at brunch and we'll talk to y'all in a second. No, it's the thing that you put in the slotted thing, so instead of you having the chargers hanging out, it, you slide it in there, and then you can charge your phone. Now this, you didn't need it. Oh, so you know how people get out the car and the light is on the ground? Twan wanted to give me that. <laughs> when you get out, so now when you get out the I car, I know, when you get out the car, the Tesla thing will be able to grab, you gotta take pictures of it with your nice heels and put it in your dump. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted this. So we gotta we gotta figure out how we gonna install it, but it's not hard. I looked up instructions I before I actually got it. I know. <laughs> so yeah, now we get out the car it's gonna say Tesla on the ground because you did you your big one. Yes, my but... car is wonderful. Uh Hey y'all, it is a few days later and today we are going to Shayna's birthday dinner. It is her birthday now. So let's get into the outfit of the day. It is a denim themed party. So let's get into my outfit. I didn't buy nothing new so I am proud. But I have one this lime green sweater I got from Zara. Then I have on my Gucci jeans. So that's my like little denim piece. Then I have on my lime green Air Force Ones off white. Then I have my Chanel bag to go with the black and the swoosh. And then everyday silver jewelry. Mackenzie, you want to be on on my vlog? Yeah. Mackenzie's going to come. He's going to have one his do-rag, but he's not wearing his do-rag to the dinner. Come here. What's the deal, man? It's your boy Mac, and I'm back with another bag for y'all boys. Hey, look. Don't mind do rag -ski. Uh, Harper Ray. Yeah, Harper Bay, y'all. Harper Bay. Silver. I mean, silver. You know, I got on this uh, tee. Just a regular old oversized tee. You feel me? Denim tears. And everyday rigs. Because I'm going to wear these boys every single day. <laughs> I'm going to wear them every day. We are about to be on day. time. So, let's head out. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Put that to the board, 
Yeah, this is cute. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. There you go. There you go. Hey, y'all. So it is the next day, and tonight, me and Rose are going to District 78 for dinner. And then we're going to Easter Market after dark or something like that. Child, I don't know. My friend's going. But anyways, let's get into the outfit of the evening and then we're leaving. I have on this Balenciaga t-shirt. Everyday silver jewelry. Uh, then I have on these cargo pants. I got some pretty little thing. My Chanel bag and my orange are going sneakers. So that is the outfit of the evening. So let's get headed out. I know. We can, we can swing by. So I wanted to take a picture of the shots. I forgot to do it. Good morning, y'all. I don't know if it's the next day or a few days later, but today we're going to the Black Footwear Farm, and they were doing a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to the outfit of the day so we can leave. Um, I have on this white t-shirt from Boohoo. Um, everyday silver jewelry. Then I have on these denim tear jeans. My uh, off-white Jordan 1s. And then for the bag, I'm going to do this glitter bag. So that's the outfit of the day. So let's get headed out. Let's go. Thank you so much for being here. I think I speak for a lot of those who say we're really inspired by what you're um, basically teaching us here. Um, I produce events in the city. We specialize in fashion curated events. I'm actually sitting in my creative director. Nice. Um, his name is Cedric Campbell. Um, and my question is, we're working to transform Detroit and take it to the next level, but it doesn't feel like Detroit is ready for that just yet. And from hearing your conversation, I know that you deal with that on set. Um, my question would be, how do you prepare your team and your community to go to the next level? I do it whether they want to be ready or not. <laughs> You're never ready. But if you walk around here, it's ready. Detroit is ready. It's happening in, it's happening here at PLC. Um, and I think though as a creative, as an artist, as a designer, you can't worry about whether people are going to embrace it or not. Like I think that there may be a very small core of people who embrace it and it builds. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I think we go into some of these ideas thinking very lofty, like oh, it's going to be the next best thing, and I'm going to be embraced, and everybody. I put a swatch watch. You remember swatch watches with the big face? I put that on Jolie's uh, ankle in uh, Do the Right Thing, and I was like, everybody's going to be wearing watches on their ankles. Watch. <laughs> Everybody's going to do it. Nobody did it. <laughs> so I think that, I mean, believing in your dream and actually doing the research, doing the background, figuring out why something is not embraced, figuring out the spaces you need to be in to talk about it. Like, there might be a little bit more work on your part to add to bring in, you know, the people that need to see this or be a part of this. It's not going to happen maybe the traditional way. The traditional way is passe. Maybe you need to reinvent this wheel, reinvent the way that you get your voice and your message and your product and your vision out there and find other avenues. But if it's small, it's okay if it's small. It will build from there. Look at this school. It's a testament to that. I hope that answers your question. It is. Thank you so much. Just like these guys here, Penso has meant the absolute world to me. I've done two courses here at Penso. I did the very first one here in the city of Detroit, as well as the New Balance one that just passed uh, about a month ago. And literally, growing up in this city, I'm born and raised here, um, and things like this didn't exist growing up, and that's why it means so much to me. Like, I didn't have the inspirations in the creative field that I, I would say I want to be for someone else in the future. Uh, I, I didn't have those creative things to look at as that youth person coming up in the creative field. I remember being in classes and I would draw and people would be like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I didn't know about anything being in design. I just told people I, was, I wanted to be an architect because that's the only thing I knew of. Having places like Penso to be able to grow and show your talent in design has meant the absolute world to me. And now I can stand here and say that 
I'm on my way to New Balance after doing mm. that. Um, oh. <laughs> small reflection of the magnitude of this. And by the way, they're all designers and they're all wearing their own stuff. So not only, not only, uh, not, only be able, not only are they be able to claim seats in some of these companies, they're going to create some seats. Yeah. And they're going to create some tables, yeah. which is a great, great thing. And it's a, it's a reflection of the body of work they're doing here. So thank you for sharing. We are now. So I, I wanted to take that same approach in entering into this role um, as creative director in my design role at Puma in the same way. I was launching women's basketball and there was no proven history, there was no benchmark for it. It was a new division. We all know, you know, women in basketball is a very underserved, under you know, communicated space. And I loved, I was up for the challenge. And when I signed on to work with the brand, it was right. Literally, I signed my contract a week before the pandemic. They shut New York, everyone down, and we were locked away, which was probably the best thing could have, that could have, I know it sounds crazy, but it was one of the best things that could have happened to me because I was really able to really home in and focus. I had nothing else to do but think about, once we come out on the other side of this pandemic, how am I, what is that girl going to look like? Who is that customer? What is this collection going to look like? I had to literally, use my AI, my authentic intelligence. There was nothing artificial about what I was being tasked to do. I really had to, to really think about the blueprint in which I took in the music business. And that blueprint was simply think about who you were trying to attract, what you were trying to convey, and and in this space, it's like, life is a sport, and I've always played it to win. And when I thought about women in basketball, I thought, what does is, what is off the court look like? Now, Puma is rooted in performance, so we know this. So I'm dealing with the DNA of a brand that knows how to make a performance, a really quality performance garment. But I really wanted to speak to that style, that style customer, that stylistic consumer, who may not necessarily play the sport, but their life is a sport. And give kind of context to these women who are on the court. They're mothers, sisters, wives. They're, they're each of us. When you look at, at the core of who they are, these are, that's their job, and they're super extraordinary human beings and athletes. And I had to give that a voice, and I had to make it commercialize it enough so that it would be something that was niche. And when we launched it, it was called High Court. And we launched it with 20 SKUs. Now, you know, you know when you're launching a division, you don't get the luxury or a capsule or whatever. You get three or four pieces. But I went in very aggressive and I wanted and I was an unapologetic and I wanted to shift the culture and really make my presence known at the brand. And I knew that I had a bigger responsibility. I had marching orders, you know. And I was brought in by Jay Z and Emory Jones. I met with the CEO and I met with Adam Patrick and they asked me, if, you know, what I was thinking and they said women's basketball was on the table. And I sat and I thought about it for a second and I said she needs me, the same way that I felt needed in the world of music, in the music space. So I was going to be as bold and brazen and fearless as possible. And I put my all into it, and we had a very successful launch. The imprints and the, and the impressions and the sell-throughs were tremendous. So I did my job. I was then asked to do a co-branded collaboration. It was never the intention for me to come to the brand and be consumer facing, but because of how I delivered the first collection for High Court and they felt, okay, we're on to something. Something so much that the CEO of, the, of, of Puma North America and sales mentioned that what I had done is shifted the culture and the narrative of the brand and that they now sit in a space that speaks to streetwear and speaks to sport and style in a way that they hadn't spoken in years. So. I knew that I was on to something, and I knew that the path of, of resistance was worth it. Like everything that we do in life, when we're creating something from inception, we have to carry and birth something. It is the most selfless thing you can do, and it's a task that, you know, not just a mother knows, but anyone with a creative spirit and knows how to manifest and build and develop something. I think we all embody that, whether you're a sperm or whether you're an egg. You have the ability to create life, and together we're greater. So, you know, 
thankfully, you know, the team that I put in place, the team that was surrounding me, I didn't do it alone. I'm so grateful for, you know, my partners, you know, during that time. And it was a difficult time because it was during the pandemic. Um, but like I said, it was probably the, the best thing that could have happened because it was my only focus at the time. And what came out of that was superstar energy. So you may go, please. This feels like a talk show Truman experience. <laughs> it's like, cue the clap. We're in the living room. It's like, this is wild. It feels so, it's just, I, I don't know. <laughs> so Hey y'all, it is the next day, and today we are going to Stewie's birthday party. He is a club owner here in Detroit, and then we're going to Dee Dee's birthday party. Y'all know Dee Dee. So let's get into the outfit of the day, and then we can head out. Or oh, I'm also going to take pictures with Janelle. That's what we want first, then we'll do other stuff. But right now I'm wearing this tracksuit I got from AliExpress. Y'all, AliExpress be having some good clothes. I'm going to link the seller that I get all my cool jogging suits from. Then I have one of these t-shirts from ASOS. I have some excessive everyday silver jewelry today. My JBW watch. And the bag I'm carrying is my um, red and black wood Kendrick tote. Then the shoes are ridiculous, y'all. I'm wearing these Balenciaga Crocs um, that someone gifted me. They are literally ridiculous, but they go perfect with this outfit. So that's the outfit of the day. So let's get headed out. Try to bring the drive to me, he ain't know how he cha cha slide. I'll never lose sleep over no bitch, way too much pride. Fill it up in a briefcase, fill the shit with a fire.
so ghetto. Thank you. It is a few days later, and today we're going to LaDon's event. I didn't do an outfit of the day because I'm wearing the outfit that I wore last Sunday. Rose is here. So let's go to this event, and I gotta take pictures in this outfit because I didn't do it last Sunday. So let's go. Project, project, I say that you want. This ain't what you want. Ah, 